check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Hello everyone! Handa ka na ba ulit sa panibagong lesson this week? Tara, simulan na natin! Our lesson for this week is about passive and active voice. The target most essential learning competency covered for this video is Distinguishing Active and Passive Voice in Varied Contexts What does your voice sound like? Does it sound like the pop star princess Sarah Geronimo na strong and powerful ang boses? Or Lea Salonga na pang Disney princess? Or maybe just like Moira's voice na very calming ang effect? But this has nothing to do about the voices of verbs. Walang literal na boses ang verbs. So, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng voice of verbs? Let's define it. The voice of the verb refers to the relationship between the subject of the sentence and the verb. In this lesson, I am going to discuss the two voices of verbs. And these are active voice and passive voice. Let's begin with the active voice. Active voice is when the subject is doing the action on the receiver. Example, Sam ate the nuggets. Sam is the subject who is the doer of the action ate, while nuggets is the object or the receiver of the action. It follows this formula. Subject or the doer plus verb plus object or the receiver. Ulitin natin para mas maliwanag. Ang subject sa active voice ang siyang gumagawa ng kilos. Ang kilos ay ang tinatawag nating verb. Ang object ay tumutukoy naman kung sa aling salita ang nakatanggap ng kilos. It answers the question, ano ang kinain? At ang sagot ay nuggets. Sana nuggets mo na. Active voice is the voice with which we are most familiar. The subject performs the action of the sentence. Passive voice. The verb has a passive voice when the action is happening to the subject. It tells us what is done to someone or to something. In other words, the subject is being acted upon or would normally be the object of the verb. The nuggets were eaten by Sam. Passive voice follows this formula. Subject or the receiver plus verb, that is be verb plus past participle plus by plus object or the doer. Sa pagkakataong ito, napunta na sa unahan ang salitang nuggets at sa hulihan naman ang pangalang Sam. Ganito ang itsura ng passive voice. Pero, hindi basta pinagpapalit ng pwesto ang dalawang ito dahil hindi magiging angkop ang ibig sabihin. Analisahin natin. Mula sa active voice, Sam ate the nuggets. Kung gagawin natin itong passive voice, Hindi natin basta pagpapalitin ng pwesto ang doer at receiver. Kapag ginawa natin ito, ganito ang kalalabasan, hindi ba? The nuggets ate Sam. Tama ba ang ibig sabihin? Kinain ng nuggets si Sam. Mali, hindi ba? Sa pagta-transform natin ng sentence from active to passive, hindi lamang natin basta pagpapalitin ng posisyon ang dalawang salita. Muli, Susundin natin ang ganitong formula. 
subject or receiver, plus verb, that is be verb, plus past participle, plus by, plus object or the doer. Kaya ang active voice na Sam ate the nuggets ay magiging The nuggets were eaten by Sam. Notice the verb tense on the active voice. It must be consistent when you transform it to passive voice. Eight is the past tense and since the receiver of the action is nuggets which is plural, you use the past plural form of the auxiliary verb be which is where and then add the past participle of the main verb. So from eight, it will become were eaten since the past participle of eight is eaten. Another clue that you're dealing with the passive voice is that the implied subject is often included after the verb, usually in a by construction. The nuggets were eaten by Sam. You always have to remember that a verb changes its form when you change the voice from active to passive. In present tense, Use the present form of helping verbs plus past participle of the verb. M, is, are, plus past participle. In the past tense, was, where, plus past participle. In the future tense, will, shall, plus past participle. Let us give more examples and transform these sentences from active to passive. Number 1. Joseph threw the ball through the neighbor's window. In this sentence, Joseph is the subject and the doer of the action through. Ball is the receiver of the action. The verb through is in the past tense. Again, the formula that is followed for active voice is Subject plus verb plus object. Now, to transform it to passive, we will follow the other formula. The receiver now as the subject plus be verb plus past participle of the verb plus the doer of the action, which is now the object of the preposition by. Subject or receiver plus verb be verb plus past participle plus by plus object or doer. So we have the passive voice. The ball was thrown through the neighbor's window by Joseph. The ball is the receiver of the action that we placed as the subject this time, followed by was since the action in the active voice is in the past through and we are only talking about one ball here so it is past singular verb plus the past participle of the main verb thrown plus the preposition by plus the doer of the action. Remember, in the passive voice, we switched the position of the receiver and the doer of the action. The receiver becomes the subject while the doer is now the object of the preposition by. Let's proceed to the other two examples. Active voice. Alyssa drank the last bottle of water. Passive. The last bottle of water was drunk by Alyssa. Number three. Katie read the library book. The library book was read by Katie. So again, these are the rules of conversion from active to passive voice. Number one, identify the subject, the verb, and the object. Number two, change the object into subject. Number three, put the suitable helping verb or auxiliary verb. Is, am, are, was, where, be, being, or been and add the past participle of the main verb. Number four, 
add the preposition by. And number five, change the subject into object. Now, not all sentences can be changed into passive voice. Intransitive verb cannot be changed into passive voice. A verb can be either transitive or intransitive. A transitive verb needs an object to give complete meaning just like in our previous examples, while intransitive verb does not need an object to give complete meaning. For example, he laughs. Laugh is an intransitive verb and it does not need object for expressing full meaning. Other examples of intransitive verbs are sleep, go, reach, sit, die, grow, lie, agree, cry, listen, talk, yell, panic, work, and others. Intransitive verb cannot be changed into passive voice. The sentences having intransitive verbs belonging to any tense cannot be changed into passive voice. The reason is that there is not any object in such sentences and without object of sentence, passive voice is not possible. A sentence can be changed into passive voice if it has subject and object and we are referring to active voice here. Sometimes, subject may not be written in passive voice, but it does not mean that it has no object. Such sentences have subject, but the subject is so common or familiar or known that if even it is not written in passive voice, it gives full meaning. For example, cloth is sold in yards. Subject or receiver plus be verb plus past participle plus by plus doer or object of the preposition is not mentioned. So this sentence is in passive voice but the doer of the action is not mentioned. The perfume smells like flower. Can you change this to passive voice? Answer is you cannot because the verb smells is intransitive. You cannot transform this to passive because if you do, it will be The flower is smelled by the perfume. See? The meaning doesn't make sense, right? The following tenses can also not be changed into passive voice. Present perfect continuous tense Past perfect continuous tense Future Continuous Tense Future Perfect Continuous Tense Now, let us try changing the following sentences from passive to active. Passive Voice Number 1 English is taught by Miss Santos Active Voice Miss Santos teaches English Number 2 the community was cleaned by the street sweeper. The street sweeper cleans the community. Number three. The project will be supported by the superintendent. The superintendent will support the project. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial, and learn English in a light speed? Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!